Click the link to be taken to the Retro Gaming League videos. Hello everyone, Bob back again with another pickup video. I am slightly losing my voice, so my voice is probably going to go every so often. But um, we'll get through this quick anyway. Um, a variety of pickups today from two boot sales. Um, my uncle actually gave me some stuff and a local pickup. So I'm in a charity shop as well. So, from the boot sale uh, two weeks ago now, I picked up um, a Wii, a boxed Wii. This also came with the uh, Guitar Hero World Tour game, and the guitar and the drums, and the mic as well as a Wii Sports a sealed copy of Carnival and Rayman Raven Rabbids 2 I paid 30 quid for all that but really I just wanted it rock band sort of thing for parties and you know it's just good to have around um, also bought a bag of like minifigures um, and it was like loads of random stuff like it was mainly sort of you know like little animals um, and things like that but there were some cool bits in there there's a whole bunch of these which if you don't know um, they are the Marks Frogmen or scuba divers um, yeah, Mark's toys worth looking out for. There's a load of them. There's a few <clears throat> muscles, muscle figures. <laughs> My voice. <laughs> if you know muscle men, M U S C L E. Millions of. Oh, I can't remember what it is now, but yeah. Some in pro dinosaurs from 1972. They're pretty collectible as well. <clears throat> and some vintage Kellogg's toys. You probably remember these. They bought Kellogg's cereal in the 90s. Yeah, when they're from 90. Oh, that one's 80. Three. That was 91. <clears throat> so yeah, a whole bunch of uh, sort of vintage toys and I paid a pound for the whole bag. So that was good. Um, that was everything I got. So I didn't bother doing a pickup video just for that on its own. Um, in the week I went to a charity shop and I picked up a GameCube. It's the black GameCube. It's got all of the cables with it. Came with two controllers <clears throat> and inside the GameCube itself was a Zelda Wind Waker disc, which is always nice. And Super Smash Bros and Star Fox Adventures. Both the uh, Player's Choice editions and both missing the manuals. But still, I paid 15 quid for that. And I actually bought it on the 27th. And if you look at the charity shop date, it's the 27th. Stuff doesn't stay around long in charity shops. <clears throat> yeah, I fixed, uh, well, I helped my uncle sort out his PC and he, uh, he gave me some games in sort of payment if you like uh, some PS1 bits Tomb Raider Last Revelation Tomb Raider 3 V Rally <coughs> Tomorrow Never Dies Driver, 
and then the only one I actually need for my collection which is Siphon Filter 3 I've got the other two, just not this one. He also found a Resident Evil 2 strategy guide, which is pretty cool. And the best thing, the Resident Evil pad, the original Resident Evil pad for the PS1. An official Resident Evil peripheral. I've never actually used it. I've seen it, I've seen it about a few times, but I've never actually used the pad. Look, it's pretty interesting. It's a strange shape to it. I think mainly it's for the, the trigger. <clears throat> yeah, that's got the instructions in there as well. The box is a little bit big enough, but not too bad. Then, local pickup. This is from the guy, if you remember, I mentioned a little while ago about um, he's got Atari Lynx, uh, Atari Jaguar, Dreamcast, and some other stuff. I went around there again. He said, Are you interested in any um, old magazines? I thought, yeah, why not? Um, he's still got to sort out most of his games, <clears throat> but he did have some Dreamcast stuff which I mean I'm paying all right money for stuff from him because I'm hoping he's going to uh, have loads of stuff for me uh, at the end of this month so some Dreamcast games I paid 20 quid for all these Dreamcast games Got Sega Bass Fishing South Park Chef's Love Shack Baby you know you're the one for me you and me and her simultaneous you and me and we don't know why simultaneous loving baby two or three simultaneous I think there's 12, 10 or 12 here, two with each. F1 World Grand Prix. Hydro Thunder. Trick Style. See nothing, all pretty standard titles. F355 Challenge. Soul Calibur. Tomb Raider Last Revelation. Sega Rally Championship and Dinosaur. So, 20 quid for all those. I then ended up paying 75 quid for all of these comics that I've got here. Well, not comics, like magazines, um, some comics. <clears throat> And I think there's about 200 of them. I'll just show you sort of a couple of the sort of things that I got. I got a complete run of the Master of the Universe comics. There's 72 issues. And that is the, that is the complete run. One all the way to 72. They're very cool, like the artwork and stuff on them. Yeah, some interesting ones. But yeah, that's the complete um, set of the, the weekly run, which was 1986. 
1987, I think. 1987, 1988. Yeah. But yeah, so complete one of those. That's 72 of them. A complete run of Games X. And I think there's 50 of these. I think there's 50. <clears throat> Again, that's the complete run of Games X. So you can tell that this guy was a, a proper collector. Not the greatest mag, but some cool bits in them. <clears throat> um, oh, there's quite a few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 17 <clears throat> early uh, Edge magazines. That's issue 7. So this they're sort of covering the SNES, Amiga CD32, Mega Drive, PC, CDI, PC Engine, Neo Geo, 3DO, Jaguar. Still running this mag. But these are from 94. Um, yeah, so... However many I said of them as well. <clears throat> and then I haven't even counted them, but the rest, and it's the biggest pile by far, are all uh, computer and video games magazine. CVG. There are loads of them. I'd probably say there's about 70. I think the earliest issue is... 95 and then there's a run that just goes up yeah there's there's some cool stuff here yeah a whole load of those so yeah so that was a pretty cool I mean I paid yeah, as I say, I paid 75 quid for those, but there is, sort of, uh, there's probably about 200 or something like that, I'd say. So you're, you're looking at less than 50p an, an issue, <clears throat> which, you know, I was happy to pay. And then that brings us on to the latest boot sale, which was today, um, the 6th of November. And I didn't get an awful lot, but a couple of bits... Um, that I needed for my collection and that is Mario Lemieux Hockey Lemieux is it I think that's complete I need that for the Mega Drive collection and Sports Talk Football 93 need that one as well um, paid one pound fifty each on those. Normally I wouldn't bother if it was like, I don't know, EA Hockey or something like that. I've already got it, so I wouldn't bother, or NHL 96, 95, FIFA's, wouldn't have bothered for 150. But for 150 for games that I need, happy to pay that. Um, then got a four switch Atari 2600 just looking at that I don't know the serial number there 001840 seems pretty low I don't know how the serial number works on these to be honest with you but 1840 seems pretty low to me <clears throat> there's that one off the same guy um, I've got this one as well it's a 6 switch I paid £22 for both of those. Um, there's some paddle controllers and one power supply as well. That came with those. Uh, four big box PC games. There's Fantasy General. Excalibur. Oh, 
think my leg is broken. You must stop the colonites from infecting the water. Revolt. And the clue. <clears throat> so yeah, that's those. And then finally the last thing I picked up were three more um, strategy guides. I've got a strategy guide for Super Paper Mario. These were a pound each. The Sly Collection, which I thought was pretty cool. And Kingdom Hearts 3D. A pound each on those. Yeah, that's everything that I picked up. Still waiting to hear about the Jaguar and Lynx stuff. Um, hopefully that will be end of November. But yeah, all of that um, was sort of a combination of everything over the past two weeks or so. So it's not been great, but there's been some all right stuff and stuff for the collection that I need. But the Master Universe comics are great, they're going straight in the collection. Um, CVG I'll have a read through and probably move them on somewhere. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.